hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today I'm making this ruched skirt that I love very much so let's get busy that's my girl for this project I'm just making use of this satin fabric I got from a store it's about one yard so now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to fold my fabric then I'll use my hip measurements which is 37, 37 folded into 2 is 18 but I'm just going to add 4 inches making it 24 then I'm going to fold my fabric into 4 and I'm just going to use this skirt I have as a guide because I just I'm okay with the way it fits and I just want this one to also be like that so I'm just going to trace it out and cut well now you can actually just measure everything the way you want it to you know be but I just wanted to cheat my way through this one so let's just see if it works out well for me anyways I'm just going to use the whole length of this um, material because it's not even that long so yeah and the skirt should not be that short so when you rush it when you rush it it's not going to you know come up and be too mini anyways let's just Now that I'm done cutting, I'm just going to open up my skirt like this. Yes, so the waist is long. <laughs> what I'm just doing to that is that I just wanted to fold it in like this, like one and a half inch, so I won't have to make a waistband. So I'm just going to take it one and a half inches in like that, and then now let me just mark my zipper point so yeah now from your zipper point I'm just going to take one one inch downwards I'm just going to sew on that one inch I'm just going to do this to both sides so when I go to the machine I'll just sew that on that one inch so we can be able to use that as our casing for our stripes yeah so now I've marked all the lines down I'll just take it to the machine and do the stuff and yeah we'll come back and see how the skirt looks well this is how it looks so far I did some little adjustments like I attached the zipper and I also put that in the front too and at the back too also because you know it, my waist is really not that big so yeah <laughs> I so as you can see the the band idea wasn't actually that bad it actually looks really good I'm actually loving it so I also hemmed that in and I also hemmed the bottom of the skirt now what we're going to do is create the casing yeah so let's do it now what you're going to do here is you're going to take this in once and then you just pin it and then you sew on it that way the fabric is not going to free um, before doing this you're gonna do this like right underneath the zip like from where the zip stops you're just going to start that so we'll measure the, from there down to get how long our, our strap should be so I'm just measuring right underneath the zipper from there down is 22 so our strap length is going to be 22 and then the width of it would be one and a half inch 
now we're just going to measure that into four pieces now with the help of my ruler and my chalk i've already cut measured out everything now i'm just going to cut it out when you're done cutting the next thing for you to do is just fold it inward and sew on half an inch when you're done sewing you just have to turn it over and using a hairpin to do that when you're done turning everything over you're just gonna feed your straps through the case you created So now when you get to the bottom of the skirt, it mm, doesn't have an opening so you're just going to have to use the same ripper or a razor to create um, an opening where the strap is going to come out through. And don't wrap your strap, if not it's just going to leave the top and then you're going to have to start tucking it in again. When you're done feeding through all your strap, the next thing to do is to hem all your strap like this. You tuck it in and um, you sew. Or you can actually just glue this with like a hot glue or something. Just anyone you prefer to do. As for me, I later just glued it. Now for the top. Now I would have just put this down like this and so, but I didn't want the stitch coming out through the other side so I'm just going to join them together like this and so then we'll see the final results so this is how the skirt looks like when it's not ruched yet and it's actually nice you can actually wear this but this is also how it looks when it's ruched oh my gosh this is literally my favorite skirt like I love it it's so cool because you can just style it in many ways you can rush it one side and you know giving it like a high low kind of vibe and you can just take it all up to make it into like a mini skirt kind of thing and you can lose your strap so it can just be loose like that and it's just so cute I love the skirt anyway guys that's all don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you all for watching god bless and see you in my next one